Dowsing is a sacred activity. These are your dowsing rods. They are sacred tools. They're not toys. So there are a couple things you need to take note. This is not something you use to do parlor tricks or show off to your friends that you can do it. The accuracy of the dowsing is as good as the dowser. So in order for you to connect with your rods, first I recommend go take a shower first. Make, your, make sure your body is clean. Then make sure your mind is clean by going into a short meditation to clear your mind from all other unnecessary emotional clutter. Then the next thing is you remove the rods from the package and you extend, it starts like this, you extend these pieces and attach them to the holders. Make sure that the rods have full movements. All right. Now you want to connect with your rods. The rods will usually point in this direction as the neutral position. Now you want to connect with the rods. You want to thank them for working with you. And now you ask the rods for calibration. So ask the rods for permission to douse. This is my yes position. Everybody has a different calibration. So I know that that's a yes. So I say again, permission to douse. That's a yes. So if you're calibrating your rods, you ask for permission to douse and you hold still until your rods will move to a particular position. And you ask again for it to go back to neutral. And then you ask, please show me a yes. This is my yes. You see, they go back to neutral. And when it is neutral, then ask, show me a no. Make sure you have lots of space because my no is this. That means that my rods need to have full turn to come to this as no. Thank you. Always say thank you. Go back to neutral. And that's neutral. So we calibrate for a yes position. We calibrate for a no position and you ask it several times until you're confident that your yes position is that position that the rods decide for you. Now, how do we ask the rods to give us answers? And it is as good as the question you formulate. So number one, the question has to be simple. That means you only ask one thing at a time. It has to be very clear what you're asking. If you're wishy-washy with your question, the rods will be confused and the answers will not be valid. It has to be direct. And it is best to ask a simple question that will elicit a yes or no response. For example, is my name Dr. Kui Tai? My rod's giving me a yes. Is my name um, Mary Jones? See, it's giving me a no. Thank you. All right, so that's what you want to ask. A question that is simple, that is also asked in such a way that will elicit a yes, no response. Dowsing is a sacred activity, so it is in your own best interest not to ask questions like, which stock should I pick? Shall I put my bets on what number on the, on the gambling table? Those things are not going to be for the common good. So it is as good as the intention of the dowser. Next step is, if you're asking something for yourself or for someone else, you formulate the question, is it in my best interest too? And you fill in the blank. Or is it in Mary's best interest too? So you ask, for example, I'm going to ask my rods, is it in my best interest to drink that bottle of whiskey? It's clearly telling me no. Okay, back to normal, please. Thank you. Is it in my best interest to have two softball eggs for breakfast? 
well, is telling me yes. And it may not be the same answer every day. So things change, energies change. So that is Dowsing 101. You thank your rods and you put them away. All right, what I have just shown you was how to calibrate the rods. I have been using these rods for many, many years. When I teach dowsing classes, sometimes some students will say, well, the rods are not working for me. As I said earlier, the rods are as good as the dowsers' intentions. So if they don't uh, immediately work for you, you want to make sure you check the preliminaries. Is your mind cluttered? Are you anxious about something? If that was so, you want to quiet your mind before you start dowsing. Children are natural dowsers. Most children go right to it because they don't have a lot of emotional garbage to have to clear. So just know, I once had a student who in the class had gone through every pair of dowsing rods in the basket and said, these are all defective. And I said, okay, use your friend's rods. They're working for her. He borrowed the friend's rods and they still wouldn't work for him. And then I said, well, use mine. I've had these for years, and these still wouldn't move for him. So I said, what's the common denominator? Is it the rods or is it the dowser? So ask that question and keep practicing. The more you practice, the more you still your mind, the easier the dowsing becomes. Happy dowsing. Mm -hmm.